Hello and welcome. My name is Pierre Maria and you've reached the Conscious Living channel. Welcome to another episode of the Practical Tools series. And today's episode is all about relationships. Yes, it's time we we uncover the subject of relation bit a bit a bit and what I want to talk about more so is all right, relationships. First of all, how can we have a loving conscious relationship and then at the same time how do we deal with contrast in relationships beautiful let's get started what a beautiful subject now first of all we came onto this world to be in relationships no matter if we're doing more of a nomadic path or if we're living fully embraced in a community i believe that if we would have come to into this world to be fully alone we would have come fully alone you know but we're in a we're in a planet full with other humans so we have come to relate with one another we have come to be within relationships to one another and as probably many of us experience the relationships within our lives it's one of the most important aspects of our lives so first of all what I think is a super important aspect here and I've had many students ask me before okay Pierre what do you think is the key to a healthy relationship and let me elaborate quickly on what do I even mean by a healthy relationship I genuinely believe this is the key to any relationships no matter if this is an intimate relationship with your significant other or if this is how you relate to strangers on the street now what i believe is one of the key if not the key factor to happiness within relationships is taking self-responsibility for your own happiness and what do i mean by that i remember when i um very early on when i started dating my my life partner now i i said to him you know i really want to make a promise to you and i want to promise you that my own happiness will always be my first priority i promise you that i will always look after myself and make sure that my individual happiness has priority and if you do the same if you always look after yourself and make sure that your individual happiness has priority then we can just flourish and and really be in love as this union that we are as well and um and i'm in a i have to say i'm in a beautiful relationship my partner says many times you know our relationship is so effortless because we both put so much effort in and i couldn't agree more with him so one of the key factors and hey look maybe if you hear this what your the priority is your own happiness it's not my happiness or our happiness maybe your ego is getting scratched or tickled here a little bit that's okay i understand but if you really think about this concept this concept of me taking full charge and full responsibility to know myself well enough that i know what are things for example that are non-negotiable for me what are things that are non-negotiable for my happiness and once i know those key factors there's a whole lot of room for all kinds of negotiation with all other aspects but if i know what is key to my happiness to my success within myself to my connection to source to my connection to my essence to that center within myself where love is already present then what happens is i can fall in love 
from already being in love sounds pretty good doesn't it and it's true so you can fall in love while you already are in love with yourself and in love with your life and if let's say you're looking at an intimate relationship if that is the prequisition it is a beautiful foundation to build on if two human beings come together that are in love with themselves and with their lives and know what are non-negotiable what are aspects that are essential to their core then come together and are with an open heart coming into a union that's where really beautiful beautiful unions and relationships get born and it doesn't need to be an intimate relationship it can literally be any relationships in life no matter if this is your friends your family and so on i truly believe that i have become closer with everyone due to me knowing also in a loving way where are my boundaries you know where are things that i can't negotiate this part because then i lose my ground and then I'm gonna get pulled into all these little dramas that life likes to bring. But if I have made the decision, hey, I'm not into that. I don't want to participate in life being dramatic and I want to participate in the love and the ease and the joy of life. This always is gonna start with self-responsibility. And that's what a lot of us maybe sometimes don't wanna hear, but it is super important for us to hear because that's our starting point. So the base is really, hey, me looking after myself and me getting to know myself. Because maybe right now you don't even know, but what are my non-negotiables? What are things that really allow my cup to already be filled up? Hey, if you don't know that yet, awesome, this is exciting. Now you can go on to this path of self-discovery, of self-exploration, of getting to know thyself, getting to know, okay, what are these parts? What are these parts that actually, wow, this lights me up from inside and I feel it going through all my different bodies. And then start applying it and start seeing how it changes how it changes your relationships with everyone. And believe me, because I was in many unconscious relationships prior in my life, yeah? But when you come into a conscious relationship, it's an absolute game changer. And, um, and within that relationship, you still need this constant loving self-discipline to remind you of, hey, never forget, Priority number one is keep your energy, keep your vibration high and do the things you need to do to do so. And then through that, you are able to be in this beautiful union, in this beautiful loving relationship with all of the ones around you. Now, so that's number one. That's key number one. Now, I want to talk about another aspect and i would like to talk about the aspect like okay what do we do though if we get really really triggered now i know there's never gonna be just one answer and this is the right answer but i kind of want to distinguish here i do believe and i've said this before i've said this to my students since years like we can love everyone and i mean this we can love everyone it doesn't necessarily mean we like everyone so maybe you love everyone but you don't necessarily like everyone that's okay and we can also make conscious choices if we realize hey every time i'm spending time with that person it is draining my energy is sucking my energy it takes me a long time to recover afterwards and notice i'm saying me i'm taking the responsibility we can't blame other people but if i notice that happens every time maybe i make also a conscious decision that you know with, with some people we walk our whole life yeah like they're our soul family and maybe part of our birth family is our soul family but like we walk with them our whole life but then there's other people they weaver in our life 
and we're meant to walk a certain journey but then our journeys can also go in different directions so maybe there is also certain people and i can tell you there is in my life where i've made conscious decisions that hey i love you but i don't actually like you that much at the moment and i feel like our paths have have walked their way out and we can now in love go into different directions i genuinely have people that i still have love for but i don't want them in my life and that's okay as well but then what do i do if people that i love and i want to keep having them in my life but they're triggering me <laughs> or maybe your co-worker is triggering you or maybe the stranger on the street is triggering you and i want to give you one exercise here that i love so much and this exercise doesn't come from me i learned this exercise originally from esther hicks who channels abraham and i just absolutely by the way i find one of the most best teachings in the world by the way just a little side note so but i learned this one from abraham essentially and i love it so literally what i do if someone really annoys me i think about 10 things at least 10 things that i like about that person so even though if that's a stranger on the street and that was super rude to me or whatever but i know we're going to interact again or i just want to transform the energy i'm going to find 10 things i like about that person and you know i might have to start superficial like i like the shoes they wore i like how they said hi to someone else i like this i like that and then it starts spiraling and by the end of these 10 things you already notice you don't have the same energy towards that person anymore that you did in the beginning where you were quite agitated so this is a thing i really i love to do to lift my vibration again and to not end things kind of in discrepancy so find 10 things and let's say it's someone you really love and you found those 10 things but you still feel that energy said so do it again do it again transform this energy and then afterwards don't get me wrong it's always up to you to make conscious decisions of is there something here that needs to be approached especially with with um with people we love watch my video if you like um tell them how you feel conscious relating i talk about it there as well but here i just want to talk about the transforming so you transform that energy and you notice afterwards your vibration has changed again your vibration has uplifted once more and now i want to add a third thing here so number one was first thing was your happiness your individual happiness is the foundation for any beautiful relationships to come the second one is if you are experiencing a lot of contrast towards someone else use the tool that i just mentioned to change your vibration towards that person and tool number three tool number three is all about how do I view someone else that is momentarily in a situation where they may be on a low vibration? So let's put it this way. Let's say you have a friend, you have a loved one, and they're going through a crisis. They're going through a hard time in life. And you worry is normal. You are worried, you're concerned. You keep visualizing that person sitting by themselves in their room, um, spiraling in negative downwards thoughts. And what you're actually doing is on some level contributing to that energy. Now, whoopa, listen we are all connected yeah we're all interconnected with each other now how do you think i am going to support someone more to come out of a crisis by visualizing and seeing them in that crisis or by visualizing and seeing them already as their most empowered version of themselves so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the way that I worry that I see that person and I'm gonna start every time I think of that person, I'm gonna start to visualize that person thriving. 
I'm going to start to visualize that person being grounded, being connected to their essence. I'm going to visualize that person on a high vibration. And what I'm doing through visualizing that person on a high vibration, I'm lifting my own vibration. My vibration is getting higher. And through that, I'm sending this person the belief or even the knowing of me seeing that person in their fullest version of themselves. And through that, I'm contributing in some way and form a little bit to the upliftment of that soul once more. So instead of visualizing the people that are already down, visualizing them down, change that frequency and start to visualize them at their highest potential. Because we all have the birthright and we all have the opportunity to live our best life and to, to fully flourish and, and, and be the best version of ourselves. And we also have the choice to do our bit and to be able to contribute to everyone else upgrading and finding their best version of themselves. So please try this. Instead of worrying and constantly visualizing that person going through something bad, visualize that person being joyous already. Visualize that person thriving and being in the best grounded and connected version of themselves. Yes. So let me recap one more time. We only covered three aspects about relationships and there's going to be a many more talks about this. But the aspects of relationships that we covered today is kind of, okay, what is the foundation for a conscious loving relationship? The second aspect, how can I change my vibration towards someone that is triggering me? And the third aspect, how can I support someone that is going through a crisis without it actually taking my energy. Beautiful. Let me know how you feel about these three, uh, three aspects. Let me know what works for you. Let me know what are the tools you have in store. And let's start here. Let's start now. Let's have conscious relationships with each other and let's be part of uplifting consciousness of humanity as such. I am sending you all my love from my heart straight to yours.